What's up everybody, it is Matt here, back with another video. I'm back at this spot, I was here like two weeks ago and I pulled out a 3.5 and a couple nice pick roll. So yeah, that was my second biggest fish of the year. So I'm coming back, I'm with Ben and my dad. A lot of pick roll here, I snapped off four times last time I was here. You gotta be careful, but. He's gonna catch a bigger fish for me. Okay, challenge accepted. Let's catch some fish guys. Ben's got the first fish, nice little pick roll with his broken ass rod. <laughs> nice though. Want me to take him off? Yeah. Yeah, let me grab the grippers. There are tons of pickerel. You gotta be careful. This guy's tiny, but a lot of them are huge and they'll choke your bait then and then they'll snap your line. So just be careful with the pickerel. Oh, you got a pickerel. Another pickerel, holy cow. <laughs> That's pretty nice. Nice. Are you getting him back in and just throw him? Yeah, he'll be fine. Yeah, there he goes. Nice, Dad. A little bit, girl. Okay. <laughs> Calm down. Yeah, I'd use the other rod. Okay, guys. Just wanted to take a second and tell you guys what I'm using. I am starting off the day with one of my top five favorite fall fishing lures, and that is a shaky head or like some type of finesse bait. I haven't got bit yet. This is going to help me avoid pickerel because it's going to be more like um, subtle and on the bottom. So uh, pickerel like fast moving and like erratic bait. So hopefully I don't get as many pickerel and more bass with this. That's why I'm using this first and hopefully we can get some big bass today. I'm crossing you. I'll go over here. Trying those pads. And the pickerel like the shallow water too. So it's like... Why you got a canoe? Oh, canoe? Yeah, that'd be dope. But I don't think you can use canoe in here. That'd be filthy, though. Oh, pickerel. And he snapped me off. Are you serious? He just bit it, snapped me off like nothing. Oh Once his teeth just touch the line, it's over. Shit, man. Oh. There goes my bait, guys. That was a little pickerel. I watched him eat it. Right when you bit it, I set the hook, and it's just gone. So, yeah, I'm going to put one of those back on, and hopefully he can catch a, you know, actually catch a fish other than lose it so I'll be back guys okay guys so I'm gonna be running two styles of bait I brought two poles and I'm gonna be running two styles of bait one is finesse so I just snapped off instead of tying on another shaky head why not try some type of Ned rig or maybe a little swim bait so there's the little, um, the little mushroom jig head and on this other pole, I'm actually gonna put on a bigger swim bait style bait. So, or um, like a hard plastic swim bait or like a Clyde bait. So yeah, I'm gonna put that on and I'll show you what I got. Okay guys, so in my last video, I explained that a little tiny swim bait on a jig head was a very good fall fishing tactic. So I'm gonna stick on little bluegill style swim bait. I mean, yeah, little, three or four inch, no, three inch bluegill style swim bait on the shroom jig head. Just thread it straight down the middle. Oh, that's not down the middle. The pole's not there? No. Uh, just like that, guys. You want to make sure that the <laughs> straight up saws fall off. You want to make sure that the swim bait is straight on the hook, guys. And yeah, I'm going to put on the the glide bait now. Okay guys, so we have our big gill swim bait and our little swim bait. We got the two rigs. Let's catch some fish, guys. Oh my god. Dude, oh, I just saw him, he was huge. I, I think, I don't know, but he hit it so hard. I just felt a giant thud. Okay guys, spot number two. We're giving it a try. Almost got arrested. 
almost got it. <laughs> no, my dad got kicked out of another spot he was in, so we had to leave the spot we were at. But um, yeah, we're at another spot. Let's catch some fish. Oh my god. No, dude. I literally let it sink for one time. And what structure is there? Oh my god, I did it. This is a bad idea, I repeat. I repeat, very, very bad idea. I made it. This is probably not worth it at all, Ben. Let's go back. Fuck. How the hell did I even get fucking through here? This is ridiculous. Dude, once you cross that first one, it's all like thick fucking trees. Ow. What? I know. F this dude. <laughs> I'm good. I just ate shit. I just ate absolute shit into the mud. I am. <sighs> well, this hasn't worked out, guys. <laughs> After this, that hurt so bad. Did I freaking get it loose, dude? I started to feel it give, it's a log. And I'm pretty sure I got it loose. Yes, dude. Hell yeah. I did, I bent the hook. I bent the hook. Yes. Yes. I don't think I bent that hook, guys, but I did. I'm still gonna take another cast, so I don't care. Okay, guys, quick recap on what the hell just happened. We just tried to walk to get out to that point. Um, did not go as planned, that's all I'm gonna say. And yeah, it didn't go as planned, and I got snagged and blah, blah, blah. But everything's good now. And if my dad's gone, he's gonna get slapped. <laughs> I'm kidding. Let's go find him. We're at spot number two, and um, just so you guys know, a little tip, little tip, you know. Oh wait, we're getting hit by wind right now. If you hear wind noise, I'm sorry, but a little tip guys. You guys up in the north, if you want really good places to fish, try to find cranberry bog ponds. Like down in like the south and even in the north, there's a lot of golf ponds, but like they're not good. So another good alternative to finding like a lot of fish is a cranberry bog pond. Obviously get permission, we have permission to go here. So we're gonna fish this place a little. It has a lot of small fish, some three, four pounders if we're lucky. But yeah, we're just gonna have a fun time, try and catch some fish on a couple different baits, and hopefully the wind doesn't screw with us too much.
Yeah. Because it hasn't rained. Got him. First gas. Little guy. On the drop. A little tiny danky, dude. Got him right in the roof of the mouth. Oh my god, he's so cold, Ben. Yeah, he's freaking cold. He is stocky though, he's been feeding on something. Perfect head dive. Catch another one. Got him. Feels like a good one. Oh, he was just stuck. He was stuck in some of the weeds. <laughs> yeah, I thought it was like a four pounder. He was just stuck in all those weeds. And he just released him. Yeah. A little dinky. Come on, bud. There we go. Tiny dink, guys. I'm telling you, there's better fish, but in ponds like these, you gotta weed out a lot of the babies first. Is that it? Not imagine. Oh, that's a decent one. That is a nice one. Holy crap. It's a good half pounder. It ain't a little tiny, tiny guy. Hook. Oh, fuck. Right there. There you go. Biggest one for here, at least. A little quarter to a half pounder. Right there. Oh, that's a nice one. Oh, yeah, that is a decent one. Come up here, bud. Oh, you ate it. That's another half pounder. There we go, guys. He, oh my god, dude. He choked it, guys. I'm telling you. In the fall, sometimes a little finesse bait like this. Sometimes you can't beat it. Got one, guys. Didn't even know he was on. Nice little guy. Come on. Ah, I'll hook myself. Got him. No, it's not. Well, it's not. No, not a bad one. Up. Still, it's a little dinky. I switched to the um, Bitsy Bug jig, guys. I put a little, um, what is this crotch trailer called? Give me a second, I'll figure it out. Crotch trailer is a net bait, uh, net bait pack craw, or a pack a chunk. And I put it on a little. A little, damn it, one eighth ounce. Yeah, one eighth ounce jig. Now second cast, right out, straight. On the sink. Feels like it's a better one. No, it's just fighting pretty hard. Now I'm just skiing him, but nice little jump. He hit it right in the fall. I didn't even know it was on. All top of the lip hook sets. Nice little dude. He hit really hard. Great thing about the jig compared to the swim bait, you 
can really feel them bite. You know when to set the hook. So, got another one, guys. Forgot to record, but still, he's a dinky. So, I'm gonna cut out all the next dinkies, and I'm gonna go to the big fish when I catch one. Later, guy. Can't get a better release. So, <gasps> he just made it by like an inch. <laughs> I'm so sorry, but you're good. This little crappy. I don't even know what you'd call the storage thing, and I found this sick old like antique hatchet and it's sick so i'm gonna cop this guys i switched to a little tiny bass looking jerk bait jerk baits are deadly in the fall that's another one of my top five baits if you guys haven't seen that video go check it out i'll leave an annotation at the end of the video One more time for the boys. God, this is so sketch here. Can you hand me my stuff? Okay, I'm in. Got him. First cast. First cast, Ben. Yeah. Little dude. I'm telling you guys, that might be the secret. That was first cast. On the jig. Oh, oh. Sweet. No, no, no. You stop. You stop. First cast in the jerk bait. Nice little largey. Got him again. Dude, instant. Yeah, they're they're crushing it. That's two and two casts. I mean, they're little, but like, guys. Heck yeah. Oh. I mean, they can only get they can only get bigger, guys. So, I'm not complaining. This is awesome. Okay, guys, we're heading out. That's gonna be the video. A lot of fun to make. Caught a lot of fish, found some awesome treasure. So yeah, guys, stay tuned. Until next time, I'll see you in the next video. And remember, fish every cast, like it's your last.